so in this lecture we are now just discuss about the one new technique of sbm just simple improvement of our support sbm that is called the new sbm new sbm we are simple you simple we see the csbm that in general sbm we are calling the csbm because of they are in soft margin we are using simple c hyperparameter but instead of c if we are using the c bit the advantage of the new is so we are seen already seen in is csbm in just just see this in csbm means this is our original formulations and because why we call this csbm because of simply so it may just remember the soft margin spm and the parameter here we are taking the c so this is our from our original formulation okay and uh, c always greater than equals to zero that but the alternative formulations of SVM is the alternative formulations of SVM. So I think it is uh, it is just the research paper of this of this algorithm is uh, written is early to two thousands. If I know, I, if I am not wrong, uh, okay, it's it's uh, early 2000 is research paper or published, okay. So now let's see what is what is the alternative formulation that we call the new SBM. That's in another language. This technique is called the new SBM. Okay, so simple here. New is nothing. New is just as similar. C new is our hyperparameter. This problem. Okay, simple it is a hyperparameter. Enter the new the range of the new is simply 0 to 1. Simple the new. So the, the importance of the new is here. So here the actually why I, I, I we are replacing this uh, alternative technique. Why it is useful? The advantage, the main advantage of this kind of SPM is that. So here new is simply. The importance of new is that so new is simple the greater than is equals to fractions of u actually in using with the help of new we can we can handle our errors fraction it is greater than is equals to our fractions of error okay and also new is less than is equals to our fractions or support vectors so through example we are discuss everything actions of support vector okay this is the two main two main importance of the new so it is controls our fractions of errors as well as it it is it is uh, through it we can control we, we cannot control but we can uh, we can suppose we can know how, how about our support vectors we can know simple some informations about our support vectors okay this is the main importance this is the main importance what new spm so suppose now let's take let's take an example let's take an example suppose we are now let's take uh, we are using the new spm okay. and uh, let's uh, suppose uh, in our data set d train let's take in our data set the number of data point is, is equals to n the number of data points in our d train is equals to n so in this case so if we using the n u is equals to just new if we just uh, interested to find our error less than 10 percent okay if we interested if if we interest to find to to make a model
the whose error is less than 10 percent model whose error is less than equals to 10 percent so in such cases so we have to choose the new in such a way that we can minimize the error our error is maximum 10 percent it it could be less than 10 percent but it maximum value of our error may be 10 percent so in such cases we have to choose our new in such a way new is the fractions of error so in such cases and EU is also lies between 0 to 1 so in such cases new the value of new will be 0. Point. in simple it is 10 percent you have we have to choose our new is equals to 0. 0.1 so suppose if we took suppose suppose if we interest so if we interest to make a model of error suppose it's error we are interested to make our error be less than equals to one percent so in such cases we have to our choose our new will be what 10 percent mean what 10 percent means 0 0.01 have to choose this new so for this one for this for this error we have to choose our new is this one and for this error we have to choose our new this one okay i think uh, the you can now uh, the you can now see the importance of the new but in simple svm if you just see the simple svm we cannot handle our error here through our c but here through new variable through new hyperparameter we can we can handle our error term also now let's see now let's now let's see that this term how important this term was. suppose let's take suppose let's take our we have choose new value is equals to 0 0.01 which one person we are one interested to make the model which error is less than one person so in such cases our percentage of error what in such cases our percentage of error will be what one person percentage of error will be one person and the number of support vectors number of support vectors will be what number of simple see that number of support vectors greater than is equals to fractions of support vectors so it should be number of support vectors we we from new we can get some idea of our support vectors okay so number of support vectors here will be one percent of our data points one percent of n because our in training data just see the training data number of points in our training data is n so from this new very from this new we can easily we can easily get one information of our support vectors that could be get that could be that not not necessarily it could be greater than is greater than is equals to one percent of our data set in okay so simple by just see this thing from the new we can get some information get some informations i think it will it should be useful from a training our model to, we can pre, we can just know how to how time comp, how to make um, the number of, of runtime complexity how it could be because we can get some cons some idea about our support vectors but simple if you just consider this model because here we cannot get uh, if you just directly visualize the data set we cannot get some concept we cannot give some idea how how much support vectors uh, is in our data set but from the new sbm we can get some idea okay this is the main main two important this is the main two important thing is the advantage the new SBM. This is the two main advantage of the SBM. Now let's see the some runtime complexity. Now let's see some runtime complexity. So we can handle easily handle the runtime complexity from our we have just in previous lecture we have seen the runtime complexity of CSVM but here we can if you just see we can easily handle the RAM kind, uh, runtime complexity because it is the fewer from SP uh, support vectors because here it is we can handle the runtime complexity because because only here we have fewer number of SBS because we have get some idea of our support vector. So here we have some we get 
we get some idea of support vectors but one thing you have noticed we can get the lower value of our support vectors it should it actually get the lower value that but we cannot get the upper value of this of the support vector because we see that our support vector lies between one k to n it should be but from here we can see that how much how what is our lowest term of the support vector what would be the minimum value of our support vector from here we will see that from what will be the minimum value of our support vector but here we cannot conclude what is the maximum value of our support vector so in such cases in these cases we can uh, we can see we can find our best time complexity what should be the best time complexity is everything is okay but we cannot find the run odds time complexity from here so it is the one opposite direct opposite situation opposite directions of this uh, of this new sbm because it is one advantage this this is the this is the main advantage we can uh, controlling the error but here from it we cannot control the support vectors we had we get some informations but we cannot control the support vectors so from this uh, because we cannot control the support vectors so the if we use the soft margin sbm we cannot we cannot control the runtime complexity because runtime complexity is totally dependent depends on our support vectors because here we are only getting informations of the minimum number of support vectors here we have not gaining we have not get any any information about the worst case support vectors what is the maximum value of our support vector this is the main thing this is the more most most opposite directions of this opposite directions of this of this uh, algorithm okay so just 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 one uh, just before finishing the lecture just uh, see one thing if for a internet company let's see for a internet company uh, our number of training data points is equals to suppose hundred thousand suppose hundred thousand okay and uh, here from this algorithm from this algorithm we see that we can find the minimum value so let's see the minimum value of this algorithm is equals to suppose uh, if we choose the new is equals to 0 0.01 that is one percent we can maintain our error one percent we can maintain our error less than one percent less than is equals to one percent so it will be less than is equals to one percent we can maintain our error but to maintain our error we cannot we cannot handle our runtime complexity because we see that for one person new one person of the data sets so one person of the n will be what one person of the data set will be a these two will be cancelled out 1000 1000 okay so we see that the number of support vectors this is actually our support vectors we see that that minimum number of support vectors is 1000 but we cannot get any information about the maximum number of support vectors because we cannot get the any information of the maximum number of support vectors so we cannot control the runtime complexity so this is this is one disadvantage and as well as this is an advantage so both the thing will happen uh, will uh, occur here so <clears throat> so i think the the importance of the new uh, sbm you were already uh, you have learned if you are interested to find the more mathematics more calculations how it is formulated how to derive this kind of uh, this kind of uh, support vectors just uh, just search it on google you can easily find many there are many many research papers okay it is not at uh, as hard as uh, as as another one it i think it is simple one just we see the support vectors machines algorithm it is as simple as that just some fewer modifications there uh, they are um, they are have they are um, just taken some fewer modifications okay or nothing else just uh, you just you can search it on google you can easily find the research paper of this okay